What is going on guys? I'm gonna make a uh, a nice good old remake video on my past video because I didn't go full into depth with um, other options that you could do to fix the Windows 10 and Steam games running garbage problem. So what would happen, what I did in my past video was I just would click on Payday 2 and it would go running and then it would go straight to syncing and then it would basically crash and what I did to fix this was almost exactly like a uninstall like your typical uninstall but instead of just like going here and deleting it from here I actually went into my comments folder a quick way to reach this is to go here and basically what I did was I selected all the files in my payday 2 and I hit delete. I deleted every single thing in here because what this basically does, it gets rid of all the files and kind of just does a complete reset. So what I mean by that is like, see how it's like, you know, I'll put this new folder, put this new folder in here. If I went into Steam and uninstalled it this way and then reinstalled it that file would still be in there it would it would give me back this file and it would still be in payday 2 so let me just get rid of that to stop that from happening like cuz maybe maybe you could have a, like a corrupted file or something like that this this is honestly this way of uninstalling a game like say like your skyrim's crashing constantly this is actually a good way to go about that too, is just completely delete everything. Like if you cannot figure out why your uh, your Skyrim's crashing or games like that, this is a good way to go about it. You can just select all the files and just do a complete reset because it's the same thing. If a mod in Skyrim is causing your game to crash and then you uninstall it from Steam and then reinstall it, it's just going to put that, that same stuff in there and it's just not going to work. It won't work, but if you do it this way, it'll completely re reset everything. And it's obviously a pain in the ass to reinstall all your mods and shit. But if your game's not working, this is probably the best and easiest way to go about it. But I'm kind of getting a little off topic now. Um, so after you do that, you reinstall it, and hopefully, once it's reinstalled and you launch the game, it'll work. However, this only worked for some people, not all the people. Sadly, this problem doesn't really necessarily have like a, a said solution to it it's just some some problem or some solutions work for some people and then some just don't and then they have to do a different type of solution to for the same problem it's like it's it's weird but ways to go about this i know like a couple more is that check if you're uh your uh, good old Steam is up to date. And if it's not, that could be your problem. You just need to update Steam. Maybe it just didn't update itself. It just forgot to do it. So make sure that's in order. Another way, which typically really isn't ever a solution to fixing a problem, but I'm going to show it anyways, is that is verifying your cache. Now, nine times out of ten, it's going to say, oh, a file has yada yada and it's being acquired now. It'll say that all the time. And you could do it several times and it'll keep saying it. So this isn't a very, like, trustworthy, I guess, way to go about um, fixing this. But it's it wouldn't hurt to just try it. Now, also, another way is um, if you go into your uh, your game... Your game's uh, directory, you want to uh, go to the executable, go to properties, is and go to compatibility, and make sure you have it set to run as administrator, and hit, click and apply, okay, do that, alright, Lucky, had enough of your shit, thank you, that's my parrot, I'm sorry, but, so, where was I? Uh, yeah, the admin all right, you want to do this? I didn't think so. 
All right. So you have it set to administrator, and so what would happen is that when now when I go to launch payday two, it's gonna ask me to run an administrator and stuff like that. That is a way to fix it. Also, now the other way and probably the last way I know how to do anything about this is uh, make sure your um, drivers are also up to date on your graphics cards. I don't entirely know how this works on AMD cards, but I know on GeForce that you get the this and then you freaking do the thing with updating your drivers. Now I'm I'm assuming most AMD users will already know how to do that, but that's just one way to also fix this. Maybe your drivers aren't up to date either, and that could be also the problem. Now if you uh if you ever encounter any problems in the uh or if these don't work for you, I will try my best in the comment section to help you. But if uh, if you found a different solution to fix this, do tell so other people can see and they can use those because these are really the only solutions I really know. So yeah, that's that's really it. I really hope this fixes it because I know it's a pain in the ass and it kind of sucks. Because I know some people in my last video were commenting saying, hey, I just bought this game and it's not working. And that sucks. It really it really sucks. And I really hope these problems work. And best of luck to you guys.